and welcome back to crypto hulk just checking the uh, top chat right now starting a little early <clears throat> i got back from where i had to go about 20 minutes early so and i've got yeah extra time so let's start with that we got a great show lined up russia today announces oh yeah we got this payment system da, da, da. oh yeah well i've got a payment system too and I found out a whole lot of stuff about Russia. Oh my God. Now, if you are not watching Crypto Hulk, you're terrified of what you see with going on with Russia, China, and India and stuff. Oh man. But when you watch Crypto Hulk, it's like <clears throat> this is gonna make you rich. Russia is all linked up with XRP. Oh, we're going over it today. I made the short little video, about a minute and a half long or whatever. We're going to go over this, and I'm going to show you emphatically, without a doubt, Russia is all about XRP. Oh, yeah. We're going to go over it today. No other channel, Crypto Hulk. So expect some funny stuff with the video and all these other things because they're going to be stressing out. Crypto Hulk's delivering some information. They can't handle this. They're like, oh, my God. How does this guy, Crypto Hulk, find this kind of information? Oh, man, I got it. And they are stressed because all the dumb shit, the news media and all this and yeah, the BRICS and Russia's doing this. Russia's been working with the United States on a payment system for like at least 10 years. Maybe even back to 2007. I don't know. Like 20 years almost. One thing I do know is that I've got a deep dive for you. We're going to start early because this shit's too fucking exciting, okay? When I show you this and you know <clears throat> that... The BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. This is all Ripple. You're going to be incredibly, disgustingly rich. Insane. Insane in the membrane rich. That's why I deep dive like this to show you. So when all these dumb shits come onto Twitter spaces, it seems like the lowest IQ people are on Twitter spaces, um, except when I show up. Um, I'm a couple points above. I'm going to show you that, like, you're set. You're ready, set. We're just waiting for the go. If you watch my channel, the deep fucking dives that I've done, telling you, proud of that shit. Pride runs deep. You're probably going to get a stiffy today. Just saying, it's okay. Just don't show any pictures and nothing to anybody. And don't brag about you got King Kong Dong or something. We don't need braggers. Taryn Phillips is back. My man still throwing down the fact bombs. Taryn, uh, that's how I roll, dude. I'm a, I'm a true professional. I know you wouldn't know it, but I am. <clears throat> but I've got fans. And it's fun. You know, I have a little show going. I'm, I'll be 54. April 13th. Fuck. Fucking fucker. It's just like I can't get younger. It's just, just the time keeps moving. <clears throat> the only thing positive, well, the positive thing is that the older I get, I get closer to being rich. I guess that's the trade off. You know, it's better than being older and poor, right? So, and then I get all of you. To show you the evidence that I've deep dive is fun and exciting for me because I'm like, look, everybody, look what I found. Keep your spirits up. Don't get fucking depressed. Don't worry about no fucking price. Crypto Hulk is here with the deep dive of all deep dives. And it's about Russia. You're not going to believe what I found. I want you to watch my show. Look at the evidence that I present. I know I joke about, hi, my name is Crypto Hulk. Okay, this part's real. <clears throat> my name is Crypto Hawk. I was born that way. As a little baby, my mom's like, oh, I think we'll call him Crypto Hawk. 
I'm not a financial advisor, not a crypto advisor. Don't buy anything I tell you. Everything on this show is a fucking lie, okay? Um, my, my goal in life is to get you financially destroyed. Now, oh, yeah. And um, I think that's about it. JS, brand new member of the channel. Welcome. <clears throat> Smart decision. Brandon Williams. Welcome to the entry level membership program there, buddy. 1970 legend was there earlier. Robert Hayes said something naughty. So now I'm going to do something naughty to his channel. Oh, got a little surprise for you there, Robert Bob Bobby. Good luck with that one. Um, Henry Brown. I deleted the app, reinstalled. I clicked notify me. Yet when I go back to this video, the notification is off. I need a cigarette. I'm stressed out. Henry Brown, thank you for that donation. Um, fill out complaints, the send feedback button, or change your name. Henry Brown 1, get a new name, new debit card, new email. That'll throw them off. I'm telling you. That's what people got to do on my channel. Jeremy the Great, member for nine months. Things are moving so fast, it's all coming together. Announcement after another. Everyone is getting set up. 2025 looks promising puzzle pieces. I said last year, spring 2025. This is, keep it a secret, don't tell nobody, but Crypto Hulk predicted last year, probably about eight months ago, that uh, it's going to be next spring, 2025. It's a secret. Members only. Crypto Hulk, member only information, okay? But Crypto Hulk, your show's an open show today. Oh, yeah. I was just joking. <laughs> <clears throat> New Jersey, little old lady. There she is again. You're so amazing with the info you find for us. Thank you. My deal is this. New Jersey, little old lady, doesn't have a lot of money. And that's okay. <clears throat> She's a member. Been hanging in there for years now. She pays her membership dues. Gives me five bucks. I'm going to give her information to show her how to make millions. I'm going to show her tonight how Russia is all linked up with the United States. With XRP. They've been ready to go for 10 years. They've been ready for 10 years. I've only been in crypto for four. They have been keeping a secret for 10 or 11 years. They've been keeping secrets. And, well, I got a big fucking mouth, and I'm going to show all the evidence here in a minute. I'm doing a meet and greet, saying hi to my followers, forming a connection. Uh, Bill Higuera. Bill Higuera. Higuera. Give us the good stuff. Did you say inside day, then a day during Go Odyssey? Did you stay inside? I didn't even look at no eclipse. Uh, first off, with this eclipse stuff, number one, I thought Jesus was going to come back. Um, I guess that didn't happen. That was on my list because I'm tired of this fucking planet. Uh, I thought maybe the aliens would come back down. The aliens that helped the Egyptians build the pyramids and shit, something like that. Um, maybe... Um, it would be a day where I could find some Anunnaki and they could show me where to mine more gold because gold's going up. That didn't happen. I thought maybe the earth would get hit by an asteroid. That didn't happen. Maybe a solar flare would take out everybody's cell phones and well, that didn't happen. And so what happened today? Um, nothing. Okay. Let me move on there, buddy. Stephen Morris, wonder when the fake trial is coming. <laughs> To end, to an end, meow. Meow. Jason Schotch. Jason Schotch. Thank you. Uh, well, Stephen Morris, thanks for the donation there, buddy. Buddy. Then you got Jason Schotch. I'm rich, I'm rich. We just need to wait. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to see some evidence today, and you're going to be like, holy shiznit. Is this for shizzle, Crypto Hulk? Never thought my life would take the... Wild turn of selling my man body for the ISO coins. And boy, I'll tell you, Ben's happy. I don't feel so bad about the decision. Hey, man, you got to raise some money. Well, you got to do what you got to do there, buddy. <laughs> Just don't tell me about it. 
I'm not your daddy. I didn't raise you. That's between you. Uh, yeah, you and your. Yeah. I think we'll I think we'll move on to another subject there, buddy. Got dark here at my house. <clears throat> That's about it. Aliens don't like Gary. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to the news. Let me try to find the news and my views. Let me do a copy and then a paste. All right. Um, yeah. It, um, where are you? Uh, the Russia story. Let's start off with that. Here we go. <clears throat> Russian fintech startups join. Digital ruble pilot. A digital ruble pilot, everybody. That means Russia's cryptocurrency. <laughs> Russian fintech firms have begun joining the country's digital ruble pilot as the Central Bank of Russia looks to widen the scope of its Central Bank digital currency project. Per the Russian media outlet C News, Simbersoft and Sinara Lab will help the central bank and its banking partners implement the digital ruble software products in online and mobile banking applications. I want you all to see this now. Russia is rolling out a digital ruble. Their central bank is involved. They have software. Gee, I wonder what kind of software they have. Hmm. And it's going to be available on your mobile banking application. Russian fintech startups join the digital ruble pilot. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Russia is rolling out their crypto money. Just putting that out there. This is getting really exciting. The move appears to indicate that Moscow may be taking cues from the Chinese central banks CBDC playbook. See how they're doing this. Oh, I got a surprise. But like right now, we're terrified, right? <clears throat> I, I want to make sure you're terrified right now. Russia's coming out with this money. Oh, God. China's helping them. Oh, God. We're all doomed, right? That, that's the article. Read the, just read the article for what it is. We're all terrified, aren't we? Woo! Boo! Um... The digital yuan has been successfully integrated with the banking platforms of several state-owned banks and neo-banking firms. There's something called Sonara Lab, and it's a fintech-focused um, offshoot of the Sonara Banking Group. It works with clients including Sonara Bank, Gazan Board Bank, something, and SME-focused Dello Bank. Um, the firm is headquartered in Yekinburg, one of 11 Russian cities currently piling the CBDC. <clears throat> so right now, we know that in 11 cities in Russia, they're piloting a digital cryptocurrency. <clears throat> it focuses primarily on remote banking system, but it will work with the central bank on integrating bank apps with the digital ruble. Oh, integration. like. Like an interledger protocol, right? Oh, like a crypto that's interoperable, right? Oop. Can you name a banking crypto that's interoperable and can use multiple ledgers all layered on top of it? Well, it's not Bitcoin. It's not Ethereum. It's not Doggy Coin. It's not Peppy. It's not Chainlink. It's, um, we all know who it is. Let's continue. We're just having a little fun toying with this article. <clears throat> Wait till you see the, the information I'm going to drop to you all here in a few minutes. Uh, 
called. Russian fintech firm's inclusion in the CBDC pilot suggests that the central bank of Russia could well be looking to develop its own application for the digital ruble. Oh, really? I wonder what application they're going to pick. I wonder what software company is going to help the Central Bank of Russia make their crypto. I just have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's continue. These fucking dummies. We're, we're so much smarter than these people. The People's Bank of China has launched its own digital yuan app. Yes, because in 2013, Ripple designed what's called Ripple China. Let me continue. <laughs> this article has no idea that we know all this shit. Um, now, most people, 99.99999% of people <clears throat> are terrified right now reading this shit. I'm fucking laughing because I already know. I got all the evidence. Okay? But I, just need, I need a good laugh. Um, Russian firms are eager to join the CBDC pilot. So am I. Russia, speed this up, okay, please. I'm tired of like, either shit or get off the pot because somebody's got to use it. Russia, we need you to speed this up. Uh, Sinara Lab officials claim that using the digital ruble op adoption products can help banks cut down their adoption time frame. Oh, look at this. I think I'm getting a baby fist. It says the banks can get this shit hooked up, everybody, in two to four months. Oh, man. Yep. Wait, I think I feel a stiffy coming on. <laughs> two to four months, and they're ready to go. Hey, I'm ready to go right now, but um, if I all I got to wait is two to four months, let me repeat it again. The digital ruble adoption. The digital ruble adoption can get banks in Russia hooked up in two to four months. I like that. Russia, okay, four months, okay, four months the latest. So we got, uh, by August, May, June, July, by August at the latest, all of Russia's are going to be running this ruble stuff. August. America has an election in November, a new president in January. Crypto Hulk says, hey, anytime after that's a green light. But I think somewhere around, now we got to have a black swan. Remember now, don't be getting, uh, you know, don't be shooting your load too quick. Um, we've got to have a black swan. It's got to be global. It's got to be devastating. Okay. And then um, let's get ready for uh, springtime of 25. <clears throat> let's see how that plays out. Um, let's see. Oh, in February, the central bank announced that 17 more banks would join a second phase of the pilot. Oh, everybody listen to this. With a nationwide rollout slated for 2025. Well, son of a bitch. Crypto Hall, how do you fucking know this shit? Now, I didn't, I didn't read this full article. I didn't. Honest to God, we be loyal scouts, you know. Um, yeah, it's going to be a rollout slated for 2025. I wonder uh, if that's going to be spring. And you'd be like, Crypto Hulk, how the fuck did you call these things? Well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's my inside information. I got people deep in the Kremlin. Uh, somebody's like, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, a what? <laughs> All right, let me check some comments here. Oops. <clears throat> we got Henry Brown. Moms is April 16th. Step Pops, April 13th. Wow, me and the stepdad's got the same birthday. Cool, man. No wonder you like the channel so much, Henry Brown. <clears throat> it's all aligned in the stars and the moon. <clears throat> I know y'all pop. Off jokes side, Crypto Hulk must have to endure these last hundred meters. MC Prosperity gave five people memberships, and that's S. Robia, Dusty J, 
Blondo, 1985. Scott Wilkinson, uh, Clutch, somebody Clutch, got memberships from MC Prosperity. Uh, Henry Brown asks a question. He asked a dumb question. Let's see what Henry Brown asked. This is a dumb question. I'm asking on the behalf of someone, but if XRP is a bridge currency, does that mean 100,000 is the same in each country, meaning if California and Russia would share the same cost of living allowance? Okay, I don't even understand that question, so put down the cigarette or whatever, because I'm, I'm not getting it. Let me read it one more time, maybe, you know, because I am getting old. Okay, XRP is claimed to be a bridge currency. At one point, you can go to Google and type in bridge currency. And would, I, I got it on my phone somewhere. I have to go dig deep. But Google knew it at one point until somebody told Google not to tell anybody. <clears throat> so I'm going with the uh, fact that XRP is a bridge currency. Does that mean 100,000 is the same in each country? Here, That's where you lost me. I don't get it. I'm going to move on there, man. Killing time. Uh, 1970 legend hooks up. Well, we got the Crypto Hulk recruitment office open currently right now. <clears throat> 1970 legend gave 20 people memberships. And before I read these off, you know, different people give away memberships. And that's just, these are just regular people. What I want you to do is go into your settings section. Before it's too late, you can always undo it, get a membership, add it on top of this one. They don't charge you until the first one expires. Please don't let your membership expire. There's a bad problem when uh, these memberships start expiring because then you, you'll lose the information on the channel. Then two months later, like, oh, where's Crypto Hulk Show been? So just get a membership, all right? Add it on to the one here. Infinite Eight, <clears throat> Mr. Commander, Cruz Red Eye, Jewel Saab, Alejandro Hernandez, welcome to the channel. Daniel Joseph, Joshua Johnstone, <clears throat> Niagara Joe, Matt Cox, uh, can't read that one, X Tribe 33, Alternative Universe, Young Sudanese, Timothy Davis, Doug B. Then we got Matthew Rodriguez, Sven Z, Stephen Gross, Philly Bryan, Jan 2.1. There's Bondi Baby in there. Uh, and those people got memberships from 1970 Legend. Totally awesome. Can I get a free membership? Uh, we don't pick them. Google picks them. What happens is... Um, people that are generous, whether he gives one membership, five, 10, 20, you know, um, but Google picks those. We can't pick them. I don't pick them. You guys, I don't give away free memberships, but 1970 Legend is working on building this army. Robert Driscoll gave somebody a membership, and that's... Can't read that name. Slomir Poloschek. I just totally faked that one. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anybody from my channel from Russia. Uh, let's. Oh. Jarl. Jaro gets to stop um, making terrorist threats on the channel. So let's report him for that, him or her. And let's go on having a nice day. Jarl's not here wanted you anyway. Oh, he somehow got in there. Let's put a report. There we go. All right. Let's go with the evidence now. 
You're going to love it. Um, let's go. Here's the video right here. We're going to start at the beginning of the video. This video is 3 minutes, 21 seconds long. <clears throat> I went back in the Crypto Hulk archives to pull it up. All right. Let's start. Let's start at about <clears throat> the 19 second mark. If you're following along, go to the 19 second mark. We'll go real slow. Okay, 19 second mark. Here we go. This was everything Russia and Ripple. Now, I did a research report. This page probably might not show the name of the report and all that. You can go back and find it. <clears throat> I don't have time uh, to go over that. What we have here... Listen to what the Russians, the Russians did a, uh, an investigation on XRP, the Russian, a, a Russian college, a group of scientists. <clears throat> Based on the research results, here's what they said. Based on the research results, it was concluded that the Ripple platform, are you hearing me, can be considered as the basis for starting work on a system of cross-border settlements. What was the first article I just read to you about Russia, Central Bank, <clears throat> going to use a digital ruble, cross-border payments. And what did the Russians tell us? This article is about five years old. What did the article tell us? It's the Ripple platform is going to be their basis. Oh, look down here. It says, use for XRP transfers or equivalents of fiat currencies issued by its participant. They're talking about transferring XRP and equivalent of fiat. Next, determination of the mechanism for reconciling balances between the accounts of Ripple participants and the national system. They're talking about getting accounts set up and having Ripple um Ripple participating, the accounts of Ripple participants and the national system of Russia. Use of embedded cryptographic solutions on the Ripple network. Are you hearing me? Next, development of a procedure for determining cross rates for the internal currency of Ripple XRP. Internal currency remember how i read to you no other channels doing this i read to you the 2015 ripple settlement agreement with the united states of america the department of justice called ripple a money service business and what was the xrp called currency electronic cash it looks like the russians are also calling it currency the currency of ripple xrp when deciding to use XRP in interstate settlements. I mean, the next paragraph below that, maintaining correspondence directories between the addresses of the accounts of Ripple Network, I think I'm going to stop. I think we all know that Crypto Hulk has this evidence right here. I'm going to push the play button. Okay, now if you go to the 22 second mark, 22 second mark, you can see the title of this paper and go find it for yourself and find the evidence. And you'll be like, damn, this Crypto Hulk dude, he really knows. And I'll be like, absolutely. Now, what I'm going to do is open up my community page and then put this article you find it right now right now 
copy and oh, I gotta paste it there. All right, on the community page is all this video, this evidence. I'm gonna push the play button. <clears throat> I'm at the 22 second mark. Now the Russian, um, if you go to the 32 second mark, 32 second mark, you look to the right and you'll see something called Master Chain Platform. That's Russia's platform. Nobody has told you this except Crypto Hulk. Russia already has their uh, platform done. They're basing it on Ripple, this and that. It's called Master Chain. Now, Ethereum was mentioned in this. Oh, yes, Ethereum was mentioned. Let me tell you what they said about Ethereum. It's old outdated and there's better crypto that works go ahead i showed you the article go find it for yourself it should be on the first page it should be like on page one <clears throat> if you're ethereum you got your nuts just kicked in okay because it talks about you know ethereum used to be good when there was nothing but since technology moved ethereum has been pushed back and Russia chose Ripple instead of Ethereum. Go ahead and read the fucking article. I don't, hey, look, I just show facts, you know? Don't shoot the messenger. On the 48 second mark now. Now, I'm on the 54 second mark. I'm letting it play, but I'm going to pause it. Now, at the 54 second mark, I start showing you the 2013 Ripple customer list. I have the list. I have the wallet addresses. If you know how to use XRP scan, verify this shit. You'll see it's all real. Crypto Hulk's got this. No other channel. See, people are like, oh, you're just trying to compete with this channel and that one. I'm not trying to compete. There's there's no I have no competition. Don't insult me like that. Now, right around the one minute mark, I show you where it says Ripple customer list. So you can see it for yourself. Now we're gonna scroll down at the minute and ten second mark. Now, at about the 1 minute and 13 second mark, I show you Ripple and then RU. Look, notice we see Ripple Singapore, Ripple Trade Japan, Ripple Union, Ripple China. Oh, oh look, down below, World Dollar. Remember what I told you about um, World Coin, the slave coin? World, we went over that last night. I want you to look up, watch this video. There's World Dollar right there. And, and it kind of shows the wallet address. If you have some patience, you can write it down and try to find it. And I'll bet you what? I'll bet you that World Dollar Wallet is still going strong after like 11 years. Okay? World Dollar is World Coin. Yeah. Yeah. If you stop this video at the right time, you will have World Dollar Wallet address. Look it up. And you'd be like, damn, Crypto Hulk, that shit's real. You're like, yep. <clears throat> now, if you go to the one minute, 23 second mark, one minute, 23 second, you're going to see the Ripple logo where it says Ripple Russia. <clears throat> Whoa, hold on. We got 20 more memberships. Wait. I'm going to take a. Wait a second. OMC gave a donation. Thank you very much for that. And OMC says, you the man, Crypto Hulk, bring the news that only you can. Big baby fist. Oh, this will be a 
Trump baby fist moment. <laughs> okay. All right. Could hold calm yourself down there, buddy. I'm gonna have to tie myself out. Let me scroll down to um, 1970 legend gave another 20 memberships. <clears throat> you know what? Get a membership. Like you're, you're given a free membership. Go into your settings, get a membership, add it on. Don't let that membership expire. Because look, I go above and beyond. I'm showing you stuff right now. People are like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I'm showing you Ripple customer list, man, from 2013. Nobody's got this shit. Nobody's got this good shit like I got, man. Um, I'm showing you all the customer lists, all the customers over there, and, and so much amazing stuff. Why? Because I go above and beyond to make sure you know with a shadow of a doubt. You know, when you see all this Russia doing this and China doing that, I'm just trying to show you all this shit is fucking stupid. That's why I laugh when I read these articles about Russia's banks and coordinating shit with China. I'm just like, please, I'm ready to fucking laugh because I got all the I know how it's going to go. <clears throat> I've got the evidence from 10 years ago. And people are like, oh, all crypto Hulk does is read old shit that's not important anymore. Oh, really? Oh, really? OK. All righty, then. OK. I don't get mad at that. I'm just like, okay, you're one of those. All right. You could lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Red Dog Studios got a membership <clears throat> from 1970 legend L. Henne XRP Stevy. Mark Sintic. Lunatic Moonwalker. AC. Phil Rand. Bart Simpson. Awesome. I always like having a celebrity. World Peace, Bobby Digital, Bobby, One Does Not Simply, Raza 43, hold on there, Raza 43, Ben Hart, thought it'd be Bret Hart, we could have a little wrestling, uh, Val 357, Kyle Daly, Maniac Killer, uh, hope you're having a great day there, buddy, um, Chloe, <laughs> Chloe, well, I'm not a maniac, so I don't have to get killed. Michael Forte, K.A. Jonas Duke. Those people got memberships by 1970 legend. Very awesome. Then we got Arthur L. jumped in and gave five people memberships to the best channel on the internet. I will have to admit. Uh, che, che, we'll leave it at that. Audrey McGinnis. Namakian. Army, Phase Truth, and GT were given memberships by Arthur L. Jersey Kathy's like, you're on fire tonight, Hulk. The show froze three times and restarted four times. Uh oh. Edward Barecki. All right. Well, let's continue with the evidence, shall we? <clears throat> so, brand new people, I'm going to show you the link again. If you just came in to the best show on earth, I'm telling you for real. Like, I know I sound sarcastic, but I put in so much fucking work that this is my fucking life for four years now, trying to learn all this crypto shit. Remember who's on first, who's on second, and all this stuff. Pulling up links, deep diving, showing you connection with superpowers, man. Come on. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to get composure on myself. Go to the one minute, 23 second mark. I'm going to hit the play button. We got Ripple Russia. And you can see, I got you with the uh, Ripple wallet address, lowercase r, U.S. R, G Q. It's right there. You, you can type it all in and find it, and I'll bet you that wallet address is still good. But let's continue, and even if it's not, it don't matter. Okay, 
it's written all in Russian down there. And it shows the XRP slash ZPR. What is this? It's showing Ripple already made Russia's crypto like 10 years ago. It's right there. It's the ZPR. And look, oh, one ZPR equals one RUB. That's the digital ruble, everybody. Let's continue. That ZPR is for that Z payment stuff. So what I did on the one minute, 39 second mark, I showed you the date, and that's February 28, 2015. Let's continue. Oh, dang. So you click down below. Go to the one minute, 45 second. When you click down below the Ripple Russia thing, all this pops up. It's in Russian, so I can't read it. So I'm going to have to hit a Google Translate button. <clears throat> so look what we got here. Go to the one minute, 47 second mark. Okay, I want to show you. This is a, a Russian forum. It's called, you, you look in the upper left corner, there's a Ripple signal symbol and it says ripple forum and it talks about a gateway and it talks about z payment that's how russians payment system they use something called z payment and it again shows ripple ru.com um and it shows the wallet address notice how z payment already has a crypto it's called zpr Notice how it's not ZRP, like, but now wait a second. <clears throat> now this is interesting. XRP, and then we got ZPR. I don't know, it's probably nothing, but uh, it's interesting why they wouldn't go ZRP, like XRP, ZRP. I don't know. I'm just showing you stuff that's interesting. Let me keep going. I'm at the one minute, 47 second mark right there. Now I'm going to push play. So I hit Google Translate at about the one minute, 53 second mark. <clears throat> and it says Ripple. No. Ruble, there's a ruble gateway from Z payment. What are we seeing here? We're seeing 10 years ago, Ripple's in Russia, and they already have cryptocurrencies, everybody. No other channels showing you this except Crypto Hall. That's why I want you to get a membership, add it on. <clears throat> you were given free memberships. Tell me all these channels are showing you this. I'm showing you a news article about Russia, how they're talking about we're going to use crypto and we're testing it. Oh, really? Like, come on now. I almost want to laugh, okay? Because I got all this evidence here. I feel like showing the reporter who wrote that article, can you just, like, look at this? I know I'm not an investigator. I'm not a reporter. I'm just some guy that sits his fat ass on the floor. Um, how do I have this information? Why don't your, hey, why don't your two digital dildos, Dumb and Dumber, that are going to have Ripple Las Vegas, why aren't they showing you this? They're so, that the one guy who says, come on in, doesn't he have a mastermind class? Yes, he does. And I'm sure it's very expensive, isn't it? Why isn't he showing you this shit? He's supposed to be the fucking mastermind, right? Or he's a masturbator. One of the two. I think we know which one. <laughs> but let me continue. So there's a guy named I-V-E-L-O-N. Well, I don't know. And, and this is dated December, no, January 2014, everybody. So now we know from watching Crypto Hulk channel that in 2000, January 2014, there was already a ripple Russia with all kinds of crypto. With the Z payment crypto and the ruble crypto. So on the 
two minute, three second mark. I'm showing you RippleRU.com. And the uh, wallet address right there. Oh, look at the currencies. XRP is called Ripples. So you're not, here's something that nobody really knows, not too many. When Ripple first started, if you had one Ripple, it was called, if you had one XRP, it was a Ripple. And if you had more, it's Ripples. So to all the dumb guys out there that try to correct Crypto Hulk, it's not Ripple's Crypto Hulk. You're confusing them. No, I'm not. You're fucking confused. Get off my fucking channel, okay? <clears throat> I come at my program with facts. These little fanboys of all this other crypto shit or whatever, they're fucking stupid, okay? They got shit for brains. I'm showing you 2014 Ripple's. That's the official name. Now, some people can call them XRP. You can call them Ripple. Ripples or XRP of my program, it does not fucking matter. So don't try to correct Crypto Hulk because I'm going to make you look like a dumb shit, okay? This is just do not correct my facts that I bring. All I do is bring facts. You bring watching some other fucked up channel. Oh, he don't know. That's XRP. Dude, sh these fucking dumb, yeah, these dumb asses. So anyhow, <clears throat> we got ZPR. Those are rubles. And then the RU, they're ZP rubles. And then you have the RUB, which is the Russian rubles. Let me continue. That's in uh, two minutes and five seconds, Mark. Okay, if you stop the video at 2 minutes, 30 seconds, 2 minutes, 30 seconds, let me read you something. The Z payment, payment acceptance and processing system that Russia has, has been operating since 2007. Oh, and provides a service for organizing payment acceptance in favor of stores and services as well as a system of internal interest-free transfers very interesting has z payment been around with crypto since 2007 maybe maybe russians were experimenting with their own crypto in 2007 that's very possible i'm just showing you evidence i don't have all the answers let's continue two minutes and 30 seconds Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like Z payment, listen to this, has 39 types of payment systems supported. Well, imagine that. Oh, and Z payment has 432,000 registered users. That's also very interesting. <laughs> Now, um, again, it shows April 2014 here, and it gives you a Ruble Gateway. So now here's the Ruble Gateway address. I read it earlier, R, U, S, R, this and that. There's somebody by the name of I-V-E-L-O-N, Evelon, Ivelon. That might be somebody who's very, very important in some kind of three-letter agency in Russia. I think I'm going to continue. <clears throat> Next, if you stop at the 2 minute 44 second mark, we can see, oh, looky here. Now we're taking it all the way back to December 2013. Damn, Crypto Hulk. This is really going back, isn't it? Wow, 2000. See, they had posts... What we're looking at is a Ripple post board, a message board, and it go, it's going back to 2013. I want you to, now, we're going to do some critical thinking here. For those people that watch the digital dildo, it's going to be a little tough for you, but I'm going to help you all the way through. Trust me. <clears throat> what we're looking at at the two minute, 44 second mark 
is December 2013. Location, Russian Federation. What are we talking about? A ruble gateway from Z Payment. It talks about here, register your Ripple wallet. Oh, damn, Crypto Hulk, you are really killing this, huh? Yeah, see, I don't have competition. It's not bragging, it's just called stating facts. It's all I'm doing is stating facts. So, let's continue. Let's see. So it talks here about to your wallet. You can buy, sell XRP. Use the trade tab in Ripple Wallet. They had a ZPR slash XRP pair. <clears throat> How to sell your ZPR. Um, I'm just kind of looking through here real quick. So pretty much at the two minute, 58 second mark, all the evidence that I've had, that's pretty much all that I'm going to show for the Russian article right there. What I've shown you now is they had a wallet. Russia had a wallet. They were buying and selling Ripple. They had cryptocurrency all the way back at least December 2013. The Russians had XRP. They had a wallet. They were buying and selling XRP. Has any other channel shown you this? No. What are, the, what are they showing you? All the dumb shit. <clears throat> all they do is go to Coinbase, pick like the top five or seven articles, go over that shit like a fucking chimpanzee, uh, promote dumb shit products that they have and their show's over in about 15 minutes. Am I right? I'm right. Okay. They're trying to have, <clears throat> make it seem like, oh yeah, we're going to do it up in Las Vegas and David Schwartz is going to be, and let me tell you something. Has David Schwartz ever talked to you anything about what I showed you now? Answer, no. Has David Schwartz gone over Ripple Russia and showed you all the shit? No. Has Brad Growing House? No. What about anybody on the internet? No. Just Crypto Hulk? Yes. Why don't you just let that sink in? These dumb shits are going to try to go to Las Vegas, do a bunch of hype. They got all these companies there to sell rich people shit. Not you poor people, just the rich people. And what the fuck's David Schwartz going to do? He's not going to tell you shit. That's important. Like, why don't we have David Schwartz explain what I just fucking showed you right now? Why hasn't he already done this? Because Crypto Hulk is the only one that knows. Maybe even David Schwartz don't know this shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm finding out stuff David Schwartz doesn't know. <clears throat> I've already shown you about 2013, the Ripple Singapore they had, I just showed you uh, earlier, they had securities, commodities, gold, silver, crypto. It was all, all this shit's been done. No other channel. I don't have competition. I don't. Because these other people, like I said, here's the playbook. Find five to seven articles from either Coindesk or whatever it is, whatever is your choice. And cherry pick five articles that chimpanzees can find and read them. And then promote some dumb shit so your sponsors pay you money. And then that's that's your show. But don't, for God's sakes, don't do any deep diving for your fans. Don't do that shit. Don't show them the really important stuff like I am. Show them all the dumb shit. Okay? Do that. That's the playbook that these people follow. I'm just I'm just peeping you on the game. If I was going to just try to do it big, I'm not going to waste my time deep diving to show you for what. It's not going to help my sponsors. My sponsors don't want me to tell the truth. So I'm going to just not do any. I'm going to keep it real cool. 
you know, who is who is running a show like me, showing all the deep dive stuff? Answer, nobody. Nobody on the fucking planet, all right? You guys get that luxury. You members support the channel. I got people that are members, which inspires me to keep working hard to teach you shit no other channel can fucking touch, okay? That's why I want people to get memberships. Because if I'm going to go through all this shit to find out this information, <clears throat> I can't have corporate sponsors. I got to have you. That's how this game works with me. That's my game. It's the no game crypto game. Got it? Um, let me make sure I got everybody. Michael Sinoff, welcome to the entry level membership. Smart decision. Um, we got Brosef, Sean B. I was late. Thanks for that donation. Jason, thank you for the donation. Jason says truth with a hot pink. Lakey XRP says, damn commie, YT won't let me leave a donation. Well, that's totally illegal. MC Prosperity is like, seems like the Las Vegas event is for white. Okay, what the Las Vegas event is, is you got all these multi-million dollar companies that are selling accredited investor stuff. They'll all be there. And that's what it's basically uh, for. It's for that. So, look, I said enough. Too old for game playing Hulk. The older I get, the closer I get to being rich. Crypto hole. That's a quote from Crypto Hole. Okay, so there you have it. <clears throat> I'm not doing any more for tonight. I can't outdo that one right there. Um, I've got a tremendous show lined up for the morning. I got, um, I'm not going to say what it is. I made the videos. <clears throat> I only went over this one article today. And, um, pretty massive so now we know December of 13 there was ripple Russia at least all the way back there they had wallets buying and selling all kinds of everything they had it all so Dennis H Thai bot the Thai bot <clears throat> oh wait Oh, dang. 1970 legend is something else. Well, hold on a minute. Dennis says, I connect with people who understand serving others is how you get rewarded. That's why I love Crypto Hulk channel. Get to that place, people. Like, I'm not joking. I know that I'm not a fan of the Oakland Raiders. I am a fan of their commitment to excellence. At least that's their motto. Whether they're ex Look, whether you're excellent or not, if you're trying to be, that's what's important. 1970 Legend says this is for Lakey XRP who can't donate because YT's stopping them. You know, <laughs> like if I wanted to be rich, I would have like the scam channel because <laughs> YouTube like wouldn't do nothing to me. They'd actually promote me. I, I could do all kinds of dumb shit and have fucked up cryptocurrencies and stuff and have you guys buying stuff and getting wrecked and um, I'd be driving around a Lambo. That's how it goes. <clears throat> so, I have a commitment to excellence and that is I will do my best before this crypto thing pops off to show you news articles, laugh at these articles and show you how bullshit they are and then I show you all the evidence. And, and the weak people will be like, oh, that's arrogance. That's what weak people say when they're too fucking stupid. And they don't have the energy to find you solid news like me. Oh, he's just arrogant. He's this. He's that. Well, yet these same people don't bring shit to the table. Correct? Correct. All they do is run their fucking mouths. That's all they do. And they're little five people Twitter spaces. They're these little computer programming people. You know what? <clears throat> these computer programming people are the dumbest fucking people. 
Remember Pizza Day with Bitcoin? That dude was some kind of coder. He was a computer fucking retard. And this dude was buying pizza with his uh, with his Bitcoin. What a dumb fuck. And he was making this shit. He didn't even know what he was doing. That's a dumb fuck, okay? I don't need to know coding. I don't want to know coding. What I want is to make you rich. And I'm going to find the best fucking information like I always do and show you how the world superpower on the other side of the lake has been with Ripple for December 13th, 2013, making wallets and trading crypto and doing all this shit. And China's involved. And t tomorrow morning, China gets spanked by Crypto Hulk, okay? So that, that'll be for tomorrow. I'm going to show you all the dumb shit with them, okay? <clears throat> Jersey Kathy's like, this family is the best. Absolutely. Because I try my best, and I've got awesome people here. Look, it doesn't matter my delivery. Quit being a fucking baby. Listen to the information. Quit getting your feelings hurt if I yell or scream or cuss. Quit being a fucking bitch about it. Learn the... Here's all I want. Learn my information, be rich, and go help people. That's my fucking story, okay? All right. I'm going to go and... um Probably work on the show. What time is it? Eight o'clock. I'm going to work on the show a little and then work on some Patron Silver tequila really hard and then go to sleep and be up at 5.15. That's my fucking plan. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning at about 6.30 a.m. Pacific. I got to put a show together. I'll see you then.